In this video, I'll show you how to classify whether an equation is linear, quadratic, or cubic. The question reads, determine whether the relationship is linear, quadratic, cubic, or neither. Let's start with A. In part A, we have y is equal to 2x squared minus 3. Here, we have a quadratic relationship because of this x to the power of 2. Whenever you see x to the power of 2, then you know it's quadratic. Moving on to the next one, here we have y is equal to x to the power of 3 minus 9x to the power of 2 plus 1. Now this has an x to the power of 2, so you may be tempted to think that it's quadratic, except we also have an x to the power of 3. This takes precedence over the x to the power of 2, so therefore this would be a cubic relationship, not a quadratic, even though it has elements of a quadratic as well. Moving on to C, this time our independent variable x is coupled with the y on the same side. That doesn't change much. If we were to bring this y over, we would end up with an equation that looks linear. You have 2 times x. x has an exponent of 1. Therefore, this is linear. Moving on to d. At first glance, this looks quadratic. You'll notice x to the power of 2 has the highest power, and you think quadratic instantly. However, if you are to expand this equation, and by expanding I mean multiplying the two binomials together, you'll notice that x to the power of 2 times x gives you x to the power of 3 as the highest power, therefore d is cubic as well. Moving on to e. In question e we have 1 is equal to x times y. At first glance this looks linear. However, let's go ahead and solve for y. If we solve for y we have to divide both sides by x, and if we do that we end up with 1 over x is equal to y. Now you have 1 over x, and if you remember anything from the laws of exponents, this part of the equation, 1 over x, can be represented as x to the power of negative 1 is equal to y. x to the power of negative 1 is not the same thing as x to the power of 1. Obviously, negative 1 and 1 are different. So therefore, this is neither quadratic, linear, or cubic. This would be something else. Moving on to f, we have y is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 3x to the power of 2. Here we have x to the power of 4. x to the power of 4 is neither linear, quadratic, or cubic, so this would be neither as well. Moving on to g, in g we have negative 3x squared plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. If we rearrange this and bring the y over, we end up with a quadratic equation. We have x to the power of 2 as the highest power, and so therefore this is quadratic. And lastly, at first glance, this equation appears to be linear. Notice that you have x with a power of 1. And usually when you have a power of 1, you don't show the power. And so you're tempted to think it's linear. But if you were to expand this equation, where you have x times x, x times negative 3, and so on, you would end up with a final equation that has x to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 means that it's quadratic, therefore h represents a quadratic equation. And so there you have it. That is how to determine whether an equation is linear, quadratic, cubic, or neither. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.